fingered goddess Annabelle Langbein has not only grown and harvested a massive luscious veg from her garden, she's now going to cook up a treat. And where are you at with it now, Annabelle? Look, I am actually getting really hungry. I'm making this <laughs> yummy pasta dish. So I've just cooked off some bacon in here and then I've chucked those raw broad beans in. But if you had frozen broad beans from the shop, you could put them in as well, you know, like if you bought broad beans. The asparagus, I don't know if you knew this, but asparagus, you can keep, it's like a flower in the vase, and you just keep it in water and put it in the fridge or somewhere cool. Don't put it in the sun too much because <laughs> then the ends will get sort of flowery. But it'll keep for a couple of weeks later. Oh, no, I didn't know keeps that. Keeps it really fresh. Better than keeping then, it in the fridge. Yeah, and then you just snap it there. That's the tough bit, that's the tender bit. So, and I'm just going to chuck some of this in. So I'm kind of sautéing off the asparagus the broad beans, and then I'm going to add a bit of rocket, a bit of spinach. You can kind of improvise it, and the flavour that's carrying it all together there is a wee bit of bacon, which I've just sautéed till it's crispy, and a little bit of lemon rind and some olive oil. And I'm going to toss that through pasta, and I've made this really yummy over here. <laughs> I've made this really yummy... This is my um, pesto. Is that, that a pesto? Made, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Now, what you, what, what, what's the basis of your all, pesto there? All that is at this point in time is just pureed up rocket leaves, parsley leaves, mint leaves, a bit of oil, and a bit of salt. Mm, bit so of you, everything, you yeah. don't even need to put you don't even need to put garlic in if you don't want to. You don't need to put parmesan cheese in if you don't want to. You don't need to put nuts in if you don't want to. But you can add all those things if you like. And I'm just going to stir that through at the very end. How long does homemade pesto last in the fridge, Annabelle? Um, if you put a little bit of oil over the top of it, it's going to last for, say, a week, but okay. it freezes really well. Right. And, um, you know, I think that's the thing, that if you're gardening at home and you haven't got a lot of room, you really want to go for things that give you bang for your buck. I mean, I don't bother in the city to grow things like potatoes because there's really no point, mm. because they take up so much room. But if you've got things like rocket, you know, it's about three bucks to buy a wee bag of rocket. It grows really easily at this time of the year. It's a perfect spring and autumn vegetable. And um, and then it just means that you can make everyday meals taste so much better. Mm. So I've just cooked some pasta there, and I'm just going to toss that all together. And yeah, see, it's just kind of coming together as one of those meal in one. And then I'm going to put a wee bit of that yummy slather, a bit of that pesto in there. Oh my gosh! So you've got I'm bacon, all hungry. the greens from your garden, a bit of a bacon, bit of all pasta. The greens. And, and then if you want to, yeah, and a little bit of lemon rind. I use a lot of lemon rind. What yeah. does lemon rind do? Um, what, why? People often, well, what, it's really interesting. I don't want to be really fat, but I love flavour. And when I first started cooking, I got really fat. And I learnt to use a lot of ingredients that have umami in them. And that is things that give a depth of flavour. It, it means um, savoury deliciousness in Japanese. And so if you put things like a little bit of parmesan cheese, you use things like lemon rind, you use things like reduced stocks, you use things like tomato paste, a wee bit of anchovy. They're these really dense, rich flavours that make the food taste satisfying, but it actually hasn't got a lot of fat in it. And look, we are ready. Yum. Grab a bowl. I bet it smells divine in your kitchen this morning. It is pretty nice, actually. How's that? That's like, I wanted to show you just how simple it is to make something really fresh and yummy from the garden that is going to taste really good it's going to be really good for you and um it's it, how did that take <laughs> three minutes that's right that was ridiculous Yum. it looks fantastic <laughs> very good well i look forward to doing it again with you next time excellent thanks very much annabelle nice to see you and um, wish i was pleasure. in your kitchen this morning <laughs> Well, you'll have to come over for lunch one day. Yeah. <laughs> Might come nice. over for lunch today. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So easy as that. Grab all, yeah. the, uh, grab all the stuff out of your garden, put it in there like the pesto. Yeah, Keep I'm pleased great. to know about the pesto because um, pesto, it takes a lot of trouble, costs a lot of money to buy a lot of pine nuts for the pesto, but you can put all those herbs in. Put them in. So good at growing basil. I need to start a garden again. You do. You've got your tomatoes growing. You don't even do anything with them. No, well, there's wild tomatoes now growing out of all proportion and size, like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes.